it's a good way to look at it. Nothing is cheating because if I do a beat and I go through, I have loops and you see me do this, but the, it has to be the perfect sonics to match the, the, the sonics of the drums or the pants. Like it's no cheating to music. Right. It's no cheating to it. You still gotta be. It just. It's just a marriage, man. And it's like sometimes you know you can do a sample, and when when you go through the sample, go through the stems, it could be two sounds from the stems, from the stems of that sample, and that whole drum beat just ride. So now it's like it's the same as I don't. Know, it's no cheating. You know what I'm saying? Like I really be trying to find loopholes in, into music to so like, okay, well that is cheating. It's no cheating in music. It's 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 the spirit within you. Right. And it comes out of you. Whether you drawn in on a on a mouse, it's still that feeling coming out of you through that mouse to draw in that block on the fruity loops or whatever doll that that Y'all lucky to have me, man. And I know that sounds arrogant as hell, but it's the truth. When I was coming up and really trying to understand how this music business works, how the music industry works, how music marketing works, there wasn't anybody out there that was validating my concerns or my thoughts or giving me answers. Now, I'm about to break down a clip of something that I've thought about from the time I started making music. Is it possible to cheat in music? Do I cut corners? Should I just be a person that just freestyles off the top? All that is just overthinking and ain't gonna get you nowhere. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my journey throughout this with the music and tell you things that I did that were successful and things I did that weren't successful because I was overthinking. And I think it's gonna help a lot of artists get your music out there and make some of the best art that's sitting inside your heart. But before I do that, you need to hit like, share, comment, follow, subscribe. Make sure you save this video and make sure you watch the entire video. My ducks, my swans, welcome to the pond. My name is Dorian from group82university.com and right here we got Timberland talking about there's no cheating in music. The first point I want you to really take away from this is that there's no cheating in music. That's the first point, that's the only point. We have this thing in our head that every single rapper, every single beat maker, every single singer is just so naturally gifted, they just pump this music out of them and that's why it's so successful. Yes, you have to be talented to a degree, but all the great songs that you heard have been worked on for hours and hours and hours. And even if the artist or the producer said they only worked on it for 15 minutes, which could be true, the engineer worked on it longer than that. The mastering engineer worked on it longer than that. Every song is a process. Every song is a project in itself. So don't think if something isn't coming to you instantly that you aren't as talented as some of these artists out here. That's just not true. All of this takes work and there's no cheating in music. If you like someone's cadence, take it. You can rap exactly like Jay-Z, exactly like Drake, exactly like Kendrick. You're not going to sound like them. Same with my social media content. I tell you that all the time. You like my content, take it. Take the clips and comment on them. You're not going to be me. If you like someone's vocal pitch, take it. You're not going to be able to match it exactly. Even with somebody like Designer and Future. Designer was clearly biting Future, but he still sounded like Designer. And Future has been able to have his own career, so it's not like it got in the way. If you need to look up things in a rhyming dictionary, like I used to, when I first started writing and there was some terms I wanted to use, like, let me just go to rhyming dictionary and see what's in there. And I would take words out of there and put them inside of my bars to see if it fits. Some words I knew what they meant, some I didn't, so I would go look it up to make sure it fit, but it allows you to expand your vocabulary. Eminem, one of the greatest rappers of all time, has said he has studied the dictionary because he wanted to have all these words at his disposal no matter what. There's no cheating in music. You want to use a sample? Use it. You want to rap over somebody else's beat? Do it. You are an artist. And I know this channel's about the music business, but at the end of the day, you have to tap into the creative side that you actually have. We are all artists. Tap into it and express yourself as freely as you want. Don't let these rules and this perception and these people who ain't never made music in their life tell you how music's supposed to sound or how it's supposed to be made. If they truly knew how music was supposed to sound or how it's supposed to be made, they would be doing it themselves, but they can't. They don't have the ability. They don't have the talent. They can't make a video that gets 100,000 views. They can't make a song that gets a million streams. They can't make an album that goes number one on iTunes. So why are you listening to them? You need to listen to other artists about how to be an artist. And as an artist, I can tell you the number one way to be an artist is to be completely free. Stop overthinking all these things. Stop thinking it's some secret sauce. It's not. You have to express what's inside of you. And no one knows what's inside of you but you. So whatever patina you want to use for that, whether it's a paintbrush, whether it's sculpture, express yourself because the world needs 
art and go and make that art. These are things I had to tell myself in my entire journey. In the moment that I just decided to just be free and not care what anybody thought, that's when I started having the success that I've been having. A lot of y'all are putting yourself in your own prison. For what? Who are you scared of? Why do you think you're cheating? Why do you think you're not as talented? Why do you think you can't break rules? There are no rules. Kanye has shown us that throughout his entire career. There are no rules. And Timberland's telling us this right here. So why do you still think there are rules to creating art? There isn't. Yes, there is structure. Yes, you got to understand the audience who you're talking to. But at the end of the day, regardless of that, if you want to release that outside of any traditional structure, ain't nobody going to knock you for that. Why? Because it's art. Now, when it's time to market your art, you got to follow rules. You got to follow systems. You got to know what to do. That's why we got the class, how to market your music on social media. I give you six years of music marketing lessons in six weeks. You want to go number one on iTunes? I'll show you. You want millions of streams? I'll show you. You want 100,000 YouTube subscribers? I show you how to do that. You want all that? If you're on Instagram, click the link up top. You're on YouTube, click the link in the box. Mouth the pond. Y'all stay true. Scroll. 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 Group82University.com.